We don't say this out loud, but deep down inside, we all want to be attractive. No, not with a fit body or the perfect face, but having qualities that people feel magnetized to. Being the kind of person everyone wants to be with and do favors for. What if you could make people like you with just your personality, or better yet, with good habits? Some of these habits might not seem as obvious to the average Joe or plain Jane, but if you start to build these habits now, you can make friends in a snap or keep the love in your relationship strong. Here are the 10 habits that make you irresistibly attractive. One, surprise people, don't tell them. Imagine yourself at work one day and out of nowhere, you are delivered a bouquet of flowers. A gesture like this can make your heart jump, not because it's from your partner or a secret admirer, but because it was an unexpected surprise. It isn't the gift alone that can make your whole week brighter, but the thought that goes a long way. Don't tell people what you're going to get or do for them because then they expect you to deliver. Give them a nice surprise instead. It's much more memorable and impactful than doing something you've already promised. Two, say no when you really don't want to. People respect those who speak their minds more so than someone who always agrees with their request or invitation. Because when you say no to others, people see how real you are, that you have priorities and can be honest about your feelings. Sure, saying no might make your stomach flip, but if you can get past that feeling, you'll start feeling good about yourself. If the people around you truly care, they will understand your reasonings for saying no sometimes. Because if you don't treat yourself like number one, then others will treat you like number two. Three, do something nice for a stranger. Doing good deeds is something many people try to add to their daily lives, and doing so can make you incredibly attractive to others. It shows that you are compassionate and empathetic. So hold the door if their hands are full, warn them before they sit on a wet seat, pick up their dropped cash. These are things most people won't do, but will give respect if you do. Four, leave your ego behind and learn from those who are better than you. You can complain all you want about how life sucks and keep asking yourself, why am I not as smart, rich, likable, successful, influential, or as good looking as my better unequal? But at the end of the day, you're not helping yourself grow. You're not trying to become better. Take the time to study what makes others shine. Is it their honesty, the way they carry themselves, or is it another quality that really makes them stand out? Practice over and over again. Ask if you need to, because if you want to be the best, you have to be willing to learn from the best. Five, be curious about everything. It's fun talking with others, but the moment the conversation dies because no one has anything else to say is when you start getting bored of that person. Don't be that person, the one anxiously looking away while racking your brain for a good topic. If you want to save yourself from that situation, you have to make people curious about you. And the only way is if you're curious yourself. Learn how things work. Ask yourself why people behave the way they do. Read about what's happening in the world right now. Because when you have a dozen more things to say, people automatically think you're a smart and fascinating companion. Six, stay calm when someone's angry at you. It's not a pleasant sight to see someone screaming angrily or lashing out in a destructive way. And sometimes we just can't help but lash back, letting our emotions get the best of us. Don't do that. Before you snap, take a minute to think about the whole situation and why you're feeling so angry. Maybe there was some miscommunication between you two. And maybe it's best to stay calm and talk it out. This is probably the best solution to understanding people better and feeling more closely connected to them, which will in turn make you attractive to others. Seven, start conversations with someone new. Most of us feel scared when we're away from our comfort groups, which makes it easier for people to see who's confident and who's not. For me, I'd always scout around for those who introduce themselves to others because I know they're the types who are completely comfortable in their own skin. Break out of your comfort zone and talk with somebody you've never met. Take a chance and strike up a conversation that's not solely small talk. You'll instantly surprise them and walk away with greater confidence. Eight, write a list about what you want to learn. What makes you more attractive in the long run is getting smarter and learning new things every day. Write a list of all the things you don't know or have little knowledge about. Update that list whenever you come across a topic that puzzles you and research it when you have time. Nine, say thank you. It's simple, overused at times, but still can make a world's difference to someone's day. All it takes is a couple of seconds to think about and appreciate what you are given, even if it's something small as like a hug. Remember, thank others when you really mean it, but not to the point where you go overboard. Otherwise, it starts to lose its meaning. 
10. Make time for yourself. If there's one thing you can't recover in life, it's time. That's why people who are constantly busy doing things they like or can improve on end up becoming more successful than someone who treats their time as if it were a measly dollar. You can waste it in a flash, but it's something people use to build a life that's worth living. Be sure to set aside time for yourself to ensure you're doing everything you want in life. It could be a hobby or even just some downtime to relax. No matter what it is, it's a chance for you to recharge. Remember, the most attractive thing about you has less to do with your face and body, but more with your heart and habits. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to your Tango for more insights.